Hey guys, what's going on? It's Savage here, and today we're going to be talking about the Gotham Knights and why I think the Gotham Knights might actually fail and flop and might go under. And, you know, there's large reasons for concern. There's like five reasons I have right now for concern. And before we get into that, go ahead and drop a like. You guys got 200 likes on the last video. Let's go ahead and try to get 200 likes on this video, too. I believe in you guys. You guys are always awesome. And go ahead and tell me in the comments below if you think that this game will be a flop or a success. I want to hear you guys' opinions based on what we've seen and based on the info that. I'm about to tell you right now because I know a lot of you might change your minds about the entire aspect of how this game might actually perform when it releases come October. So the first reason I have, and it's actually a big one that flew under a lot of people's radars, including mine. This came out like maybe four or five days ago. It's the fact that Modern Warfare Freaking 2 releases three days after Gotham Knights. Three days, guys. October 20. 8th i think which is yeah it's or, or 26 maybe maybe it comes out the day after i don't know either way it's coming out like the week in the, the same week of gotham knights and um let me just tell you from titanfall's 2 experience when titanfall 2 came out it was like in between battlefield and call of duty Dude, that thing got fucking smoked. It did not do good. <laughs> Let's just be real here. Titanfall did not do that well. At least not as well as I think it was EA at the time wanted to or Respawn wanted it to as well. You know, they thought it was going to do a lot better, but they released it in the stupidest time possible. Now, unfortunately, we don't know if Gotham Knights or the developers WB Montreal knew that Modern Warfare 2 was going to release when it was going to release. But they released, they're still going to release Gotham Knights most likely on October 25th, which means it's coming out just a few days before Modern Warfare 2, which I believe is going to fuck Gotham Knights square in the ass it's going to be really really bad for this game and i think that it might actually make this game even worse for what it was doing in the first place because when you look back at the last trailer it did not give a lot of people a lot of fans and a lot of mainstream people hope that this game was going to be good or it was going to look good i personally think that the last trailer did a lot worse for this game than it did a lot better and that comes from somebody who actually liked that trailer i actually thoroughly enjoyed that trailer a lot like, if you look back at my initial reaction, I was hyped. I was like, this is exactly what we wanted. I was like, what the? I, I can't believe we're actually getting this. I was actually excited. And then the info started coming out. A lot of the info started coming out. And, you know, I think that uh, the fact that the, the trailer just did not give a lot of people hope and the fact that, again, there's the information that it, it wasn't going to be for the last gen consoles, I think that that also hurts it as well. When you look at Modern Warfare 2, back to the first point, they're going to be cross-platform. They're going to have last-gen consoles and current-gen consoles, PS5, PS4, Xbox One, Xbox Series X. That's what's going to be for Modern Warfare 2. They're going to actually be able to sell it to everybody, including PC players, too. So, Gotham Knights already has that disadvantage. And when they're going and facing directly against the biggest franchise in the world, I don't see how Gotham Knights is going to do good. This isn't some, you know, old IP that has a name. Gotham Knights is a new IP from OG developers that have not, like, developed anything since at least Gotham Knights, or sorry, since Arkham Origins. But here's the thing, is that these are new people that didn't even have any association with Arkham Origins. So it's basically a brand new dev team that have not put anything out ever before with this dev name. So it's like, there's not a lot of hope here. There's not a lot of people that would look at this and be like this is a really good sign a lot of people are looking at this and saying this is a bad sign and again the last trailer did not give a lot of people hope they were looking at this saying this is the best you guys had to offer and i was really like hoping that you know there was going to be a positive reaction to it but you know i understand the criticism and the trailer did have cause for concerns in a lot of the aspects of the gameplay a lot of the aspects of the story the cutscenes and stuff like that like this might be a next gen only game but let me tell you based off that gameplay and based off the gameplay we've seen before this does not look like a next gen only game this looks like a last gen game that is going to be ported on to the new gen or the 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 current gen so i you know just based off of that i think a lot of people are going to be disappointed and i think that it's not going to sell as well because one more point like the nail in the coffin is that it's only on playstation 5 and xbox series x and P pc of course and that's just like 
you're cutting so much of your fan base off. And it's not even like the fact that they did that. It's when they did it. Because if they did this back in December, okay, that's fine. It happened, right? Everybody could have at least had time, enough time to realize that they had to get a new console if they wanted to play this game. Or they had enough time to realize that, oh, maybe it's not worth it if they started showing stuff. But the other thing is that they did it five months before release. Five months before release. And they did it while releasing a new gameplay trailer. And they didn't even, like, say it in the trailer. They kind of just, like, did a tweet about it. And it was just, like, so nonchalant and under the radar that it was, like, it kind of just felt like a spit in the face. Everything that is leading up to this game in the last, like, month has been negative. Negative. And the fuck the, the Matt Modern Warfare 2 coming out in, in October... Three days after the fucking Gotham Knights comes out. Dude, that hurts so bad. There's also one more little thing. The CW show. I think that that's giving this game, the name, a bad rep. CW Gotham Knights. Nobody wants to hear that. And then when the game or the movie or the show eventually comes out or the, the trailer comes out, people are going to try to associate the, the TV show with the game. And be like, oh, Bruce died in both of those. What if they're connected? Like, it's going to be a shit show eventually, right? When that comes out, continuity-wise. Even if the de developers already said it's not connected. Like, people are still going to assume that that's the case. And honestly, I really hope that none of these affect this game. I want this game to succeed. I want it to be good because I want more DC games. I want more AAA games. And I want WB Montreal to come out and make more, you know, DC games and stuff like that. They already said years ago that they were going to have two DC games, two AAA DC games in development. So we don't really even know what that other DC game is. We don't even know if it really gets in development, let's be honest. But that'd be really cool if it was. And if it was, I really hope that we see that eventually. And I hope that, you know, Gotham Knights succeeds so we can actually see that game come out eventually, hopefully. Like, if this game does bad... I don't even know if WP Montreal will still be a studio, in my opinion. Like, they spent the last nine years creating three different games, only for one of them to see the light and start to go downhill five months before release. That's not a good sign. And I don't even know if people want to see their second game. That's the thing. So I hope that this game does do good. I really genuinely hope that WB Montreal is making like a masterpiece. And like it's a it's something that's kind of underrated like Arkham Origins. But like people understand it's underrated quicker than what they did with Arkham Origins. Either way, all, all these points are not giving me any hope. I really do hope that it's great. But like the, all these points that I listed off in this video have been giving me less and less hope. So... Hopefully you guys understand my points and hopefully you guys uh, kind of give me your opinions as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe as you're, if you're new as well. That also helps me a tremendous amount. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.